Hi guys! Today I wanted to show you how my garden has been coming alive this spring. It has really been a source of calm and peace for me. So I wanted to share this peace and joy and happiness with you. And this is kind of unscripted, so let me know how you like this. And I'm trying my best not to move too much because my microphone is not wireless, so yeah, sorry if there's weird background noises. Here I am planting some papaya seeds that I actually sprouted a few months ago using the paper towel method and it was really fun because it's my first time starting seeds by myself and they sprouted within a few days and I thought it was cool to have a papaya tree you know and just because I love papaya And here's my chamomile plant that actually got infested with aphids earlier last month, but it's been recovering and doing pretty well again. Back in January, I planted potatoes, but it turned out only to be a tiny harvest of five potatoes because I think it had to do with the type of soil I used and how many times I fertilized, but it was still really cool. And there was also a tiny pot that I had planted back in the fall and that produced even bigger potatoes. Well, slightly bigger. Um, so this means that if you ever wanted to try it out, you can definitely do that just in a small pot. Just for fun, because these potatoes are so cute. And here's a basil plant that I propagated a few months ago when my sister and I were making pesto because I love pesto and I didn't have Italian basil before this so I figure I'd propagate it and it started from just a one stem two leaf cutting and the one in the back in the plastic water container is basil as well and they've both been doing really well and I am making pesto tomorrow so I'm very excited here is a little bee that visited my garden I didn't actually catch it sipping on some nectar, but I did see another bee do that. But I just thought I'd show you because this bee is so cute. blend in with the bush. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> <laughs> Here I'm thinning out some papaya seedlings about a month later and I started with 25 seeds and I thinned them down to 8 seedlings. And since I didn't want this to go to waste, I put the seedlings 
onto my rose plant for some live chop and drop mulch and also just an extra source of nutrients. And I love watching and I love watching seedlings come alive in the spring cuz it just gives me so much hope and strength. And here I am transplanting some papaya seedlings a few weeks later to let them grow even bigger and then I'll be able to see if they are bisexual or male or female. It's good if they're bisexual because that means they can pollinate themselves and I'll only have to keep one papaya tree instead of two. And this is a purple sweet potato that I planted last week and I will definitely give you an update in a few weeks because I'll be doing another gardening video. Here I'm planting some calendula seeds, not only for the aesthetic, but also for my skin because I have eczema and just really sensitive skin in general and calendula is really good for that. That's also why I have chamomile as well. These are borage seeds and I'm planting borage as a companion plant for my strawberries, um, which I will be planting very soon. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next week.